Hi guys, I'm Mark Raymond Hunter, and I have something very special today. These are vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! 2005 starter decks. Not just any, as you can see from how these things look, because anyone can go on eBay and spend maybe one, 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, on a normal Yu-Gi-Oh! 2005 starter deck. These, as you can see, are counterfeit starter decks. These were a very common thing back when I was a kid. Um, I actually have plenty. I'll show some of them off later, some of my counterfeits from when I was a kid. But if you went into most dollar stores at the time, um, they would have these somewhere where you'd just be able to buy these fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What makes these things so special, as you can see, is one, the quality is um, interesting to say the least, and two, more interestingly, is that they were typically a translation of a translation. So what would happen is that these were typically mass produced in like China and sometimes Taiwan, sometimes countries like that. So they would be taking, and keep in mind, this was long before things like Google Translate existed or anything similar to it. So what would happen is that they would take the Japanese cards before the English came, version came out, or sometimes they didn't even care about the English version. So they would take the Japanese version, then they would have whatever they can find as a translator anywhere near there in order to translate them. And the translation quality was uh, junk to say the least but that's what makes these things so desirable so let's take these things out let's see what I have so I'm not going to be opening all of them I'm going to be opening some of them so let's see what I have and we're going to take a close look at some of them so I'm only going to be opening anything that I have a duplicate of reason being because I want to keep some of these in their original condition and it looks like that there are some starter decks that didn't even actually exist. I'm pretty sure there was no starter deck Marek. Then what's interesting with this one, the Joey one, is that that, that kind of looks like the Millennium Ring, but, like, there's a Millennium Puzzle inside the Millennium Ring, and, like, that's not Joey's thing. That's half the appeal of these stupid things, that they made absolutely no sense. So... Let's see, because here's what's interesting, because this one has a cover card of the Black Illusion Ritual, while this one has a cover card of Polymerization, so let's group them together. So, these two, these three, okay. So, four of these, three of these. I only have one Pegasus, that kind of sucks. Okay. Some Joeys. So we have one of the Pegasus and one of these green ones, so I'm not going to be opening those. So, I'm going to be opening one of each of these. So let's open up this one. So I will put these aside. Let's open up this one. Put these aside. Let's open up this Hmm. Is that the plastic part of the... Okay. Let's open up this one. Put these aside. And let's open up... This one, the card's upside down. That's pretty funny. Okay. So we're going to be opening up four of these. And the rest we're going to put aside, and those are going to remain in my collection. So in this video, I'm going to be opening these up um reading some of them reminiscing on some of them then i'll show you guys some of my fakes in my collection and yeah so hold on let me hide this chair and let's open this up these are incredibly rare not the most expensive because of the fact that they're kind of counterfeit and there's a very limited market for these but they are very very rare because of the fact that like who keeps things like this, especially in 2024? So, it's you're not going to be able to see something like this every day. Let's open up the Marek one first. So, as you can see, the packaging is kind of junk. I think I actually have some of these exact fakes. Or I did at some point. So, first let's look at the cover card. Cover card is Ogre of the Black Shadow. I'm not sure what this is based on. So, as you can see, most of the cards in this are shiny. Like, in a weird way. 
the texture of the card is like this is not a normal Yu-Gi-Oh card so as you might be able to see it looks like they basically just glued two pieces of paper together and then the the logo on the back is completely wrong look at that that is some 2005 counterfeits if I ever seen one so ogre of the black shadow I wonder if no, so judging by the fact that some of the cover cards are different, I'm guessing not all these are the same. So, um, Beast Wallerer, they spelled warrior wrong, an ogre possessed by the power of dark, uh, uh, by the power of the dark, few can withstand its rapid charge. Wow, okay. Next we have Dehuman Warrior, and I love how, look at this, so like, Right over here, you can see, like, that it's one size, and then, like, it's triple the size here. And they even attempted to, like, put, like, the little numbers over there. It's just so wrong, and there's no seal or anything. Beaver Warrior. They actually got... Okay, this one's interesting, actually. The fact that they wrote it as Beaver Warrior is interesting, because that is the English name for this card. But in Japanese, the name of this card is Ruizu, which literally translates to Louise. Like, yeah, the girl named Louise. So the fact that they named it Beaver Warrior means that at the very least, this card was out when they made it. Uh, like, the card was out in English, and they at least somewhat based off the English translation, which is interesting. But if they base it off the English translation, then... Well, this creature locks in size makes up for defense with... But they... they that, that That's just baffling. So, clearly, the fact that, like... It was originally Ruizu. They changed it to Beaver Warrior in the localization, in the TCG, because I think Upper Deck at the time controlled the game. So, they just thought this stupid thing look, looks like a Beaver Warrior, and that's the story behind how this card got its name. Meaning it's literally not possible that they just decided, okay, um, let's translate it as that because the original Japanese would not have translated it as this. But then why is the description of the card different and have spelling mistakes? You copied the name of the card. How do you mess it up further? Card destruction. Okay. So they got the name here. And I love how it says magic card. That's so nostalgic. Oh my god. Oh my god, and they translated on top. It says, no, I actually know it doesn't with regular, let me check that. With normal cards, does it say it in English? I, I'm not even sure. I think it does. I have some real cards in here. I'll go into this in more details. Like, here, Zodia the Forbidden One. No, but that's a, that's a monster. I gotta have some real cards in here. I think towards the back. Yeah, so it actually does say spell on top. I have some magic cards somewhere in my collection, so I'm sure it would say magic for those. Okay. So what does it say? Both players must discard their entire hands and draw the same number of cards that they discarded from their respective decks. Fair. Okay. Oh my god, I had this card as a kid and I don't know what happened to it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is bringing back so much memories. Magician Pandula. It said the card on character's subject. <laughs> oh my god. So they took a they took a screenshot of the anime and just turned it into a monster. And what's with these stats? 1960, 2280? After you pay 300 life points, you can special summon one monster card. Like, mon stir card. <laughs> mon stir card. <laughs> from, your, from your field or your opponent. Like, opponent period S field. How are you special summoning a monster from your opponent's field and then add it to your hand? Albe albeo, I think it means albeit. Monster, the attack capability of this card will increase 300 points. I love these stupid fakes. They're so bad.
<laughs> oh my god, destroyer golem. Rock, a golem with a massive right hand for crushing victims. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Master and expert. This is probably just a really poor translation. Beast, a deadly duo consisting of a beast master and its loyal servant. Battle Ox, they got the... How is there... Why is there absolutely no consistency whatsoever in the font, whether they're bold, in the size of the font, in the color of the text? Why is that? It's just baffling. Like, that's not a, that's not a quality control issue. That's a... They woke up one morning and decided to make this title bold and this title not bold. Battle Ox Beast Warrior, a monster with a, with tremendous power. It destroys enemies with a with a swing of its axe. Other than the grammar mistakes, which I I don't know how that's possible, because they're clearly ripping some of these names from the official cards. In which case, how are you having spelling and grammar mistakes if you're copying and pasting? Dancing Fairy. Deathless tribe. So, like, obviously, there's beast, beast warriors, magicians. More recently, we have cybers, and then there's the deathless tribe type. Ever heard of that one? Though it's beautiful, both its attack and defense capabilities are low. It has a little opportunity to enter the field. Yeah, two thousand three hundred and ninety-two attack and two thousand six hundred and thirty defense. But yeah, it's, uh, its stats are low. What is this stupidity? Wind and Fire Pegasus. The Monster Tribe type. Have you ever heard of that one? This Pegasus can traverse the whole universe when it spreads its wet red wings. Broken Jade Instruction. Magic card. Mm, no, it's red, but it's still a magic card. Okay. And why does it have attack and defense? This thing can't make up its mind. Is this a monster, a spell, or a trap? I'm sorry. So it says magic card, but it's clearly read like a trap card, but it has attack and defense. When the face down monster turns into face up position, if its defense capability is less than 2,000 points... It will be destroyed. If its defense capability is over 2,000 points, it will be returned to face down position. Let's go, Millennium Shield. Warrior Tribe. Like, what's with the brackets? I think that the brackets are supposed to be that that is supposed to be the type, meaning that they straight up forgot to give this card a name and they put its type in the name slot. A legend from the Imperial family of ancient Egypt goes that this shield can defend the mon the, the oh the most powerful attack. They didn't even get the stats right. You're supposed to have 3,000 defense and zero attack. Magnetic Warrior. Rock Tribe Effect. Okay, the first effect monster. This Pegasus. Pegasus. Sure. Can traverse the whole universe. <laughs> they put the rock effect on here. They put the effect from the stupid, uh, from the wind and fire Pegasus. Oh my god, these are amazing. I spent so much money on this that I shouldn't have. This was worth every penny. Baron of the Fiend Sword. Fiend, an aristocrat who wields a sword po po uh, possessed by malicious spirits that prey on the weak. Why is this one purple? Like, is this supposed to be a fusion? Absorb Hev Hevev's son. Angel tribe effect. After destroying the monster and sending it to the graveyard, this card can obtain the total life points equal to the grade of the monster being destroyed times 300. Lightning armor. Magic card. 
but why does it have attack and defense? This card can increase the attack capability of one conquicious Shayla or her or her three sisters with 500 points. I definitely have the fake of this one. Electric Eye Extraterrestrial Being. Thunder Tribe. Attack with thunder if you battle it. You may be attacked by its lightning strike. Here we go. An Exodia piece. Okay. Sealed right hand. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's a left hand. Stupid. Enhancer Tribe. After the sealed left hand... Can he make up his mind? Is this the right hand or the left hand? Being unfastened, you can ob obtain inexhaustible strength. Dark Dragon King. This dragon it igabits in darkness and has poor eyesight. Wow. These are amazing. These are just amazing. 2,000 Needles. When the, this defense position card being attacked, if its defense capability is higher than the attack capability of the attacking monster, this monster will be destroyed. Huh? That's a stupid effect. Basically, if this card's defense is higher than the attacking monster's attack, it's still destroyed. Destroyed. That's really stupid. Oh, here's another one. Magic card with attack and defense and is clearly a trap. Summon or counter summon gigantic monster with attack capability under 2,000 points and attack the, gi the same gigantic control card and destroy it completely. Wow. Wow. Pharaoh Healer, Deathless Tribe, the soul of the ascended uh, of the deceased, the soul of the deceased emissary who attended Pharaoh has a loyal heart. The these cards, the grammar is so broken. I can't even. I can't like. It's making me read them with broken grammar when the grammar is not broken. Green Eye White Dragon. <laughs> Green Eye White Dragon. Green Eye White Dragon. As the story goes. <laughs> as the story goes, this dragon has extremely strong attack capability and can destroy any opponent. Its destructivity is overwhelming. At least they got the stats right. Wow. Green Eyes White Dragon. Everyone knows, like, the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's, like, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. There's the Dark Magician. There's the Green Eyes White Dragon. Everyone knows these cards. Chain Dart. Again, a card with attack and defense. When this card is activated, the monster equipped that this card obtains 500 points of attack capability. Shug Anke Sedong, Deathless Tribe. This monster has a second life. Sure. Monster's Dressing Room. Pay 800 life points and choose raw four cards from your, from your Ek. It doesn't say deck, it says Ek. I'm serious, look at that. No, it says Esk. Not even Ek. Not even, like, deck as in, like, Ek. No, no, no. From your Esk. What's an Esk? The normal card over grade 3 can be special summoned to your field, and other cards will be returned to E, your deck. Then, then the cards on your deck will be reshuffled. The broken grammar here. Kalamasado, I, I, I'm not sure if that's the real name or not. Warrior Tribe Bright. 
it befalls owning to the sound of whatever, and there must be over seven stars of cards in hand, and I'll be offered as sacrifice. They made a card of my Valentine, sure. Peacock Dance. The card on character's subject. When... I can't even, the text is so small. When the play when the play start, like if it was normal English, I could at least read it. When the play starts, choose one tribe, not even tribe. It says tribe from your hand or from your field, and all monsters of this tribe. Now it says tribe. IV if your hand and ov like literally if IV your hand and ov as in ov your field will turn into bird tribe you can also choose one death might bird card before you the play starts all the selected bird cards will gain 200 points of attack capability and 200 points of defense capability. Wow, that is hard to read. Robber Knight have it. When the players start, choose one tribe from your hand and and from your field and all monsters of tribe if your hand and ov your field will turn into bird trot this is the same effect as the my valentine card i'm sorry the peacock dance card two pronged attack select and destroy two mon two of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters i could actually understand what Okay, other than being completely fake and being sucky, at least I understand what this card does. Select and destroy. It even has problem-solving card text, so it doesn't, it doesn't target. So it selects, which is a modern problem-solving problem -solving card text term, so it does not target, but it does destroy two of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters. Hey, this is non-targeting destruction removal on a trap card. So what if it's a minus two in card advantage on a trap card that's fake? Yella. Summon with Salay Ritual and befall on the field or its hands. It must have eight stars. The summon card has the responsibility to sacrifice. Second cage magic card. I think that's supposed to be the uh the um whatever it's called the continuous symbol. This card can appear on the field in an effect of first cage only. Monster bone tomb. Is this uh, my Valentine's stupid card again? No, it's not. Okay. When the player start, choose one type on the f uh, from your hand or on your deck, and all monsters. I'm not even reading. This is too stupid. Fissure, destroy one opponent's face up monster with the lowest attack. I think this is literally just the actual effect of the card. Like that's. I'm pretty sure that's literally the actual just effect of the card. And finally, from here, last will. If a monster of yours is sent to the grave, it'll... I'm pretty sure this is the actual effect of the card. If a monster of yours is sent from the field to the graveyard during the turn that you've played this card, you can select a monster with 1,500 points or less from your deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the actual just effect of the card. So, what did we learn from this? Green Eyes White Dragon. I'm too tired to open the other ones. Like, wow, that, that was 25 minutes just to open one of these, and I have four that I'm opening. 
Yeah, uh, I'm going to upload them separately. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll end off this video showing off some of my favorite fakes. I guess I'll do the binder right now, and I'll do that one another time. So I have three darkly big rabbis, as you can see, three different types. So, like, I have everything themed here to a certain degree. Like, not really, like, a hard theme, but, like, my whatever I wanted to think of. So this is a fake slide for the sky dragon, but looks really cool. The camera is not picking up well. There we go. Then this is a fake of the tournament prize winning OCG uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon from years ago. Then a Gate Guardian. This is Red Eyes Darkness Red Metal Dragon. Five God Dragon. Master of Dragon Knight. Let's see some more. So Snatch Steel. And here's the funny thing with that Snatch Steel. I'm pretty sure that Snatch Steel is fake, but the only thing that's damaged on it is where the seal is, so I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I could probably get away with bringing that to a tournament if the card was legal. Wait, didn't it just come back? Yeah, it did just come back, actually. Then Scapegoat, clearly that one's fake, but it's a decent fake. If you look at the... Um... Look at the seal. I don't think it'll come up on camera, but like. Oh, wait, no, there's no hologram in the seal. Okay, never mind. Shield and sword, some fake uh, Chinese versions of some of my favorite um, reptile cards. Black Demon Master. Summon Skull, Great Moth. Then just some Exodia pieces. So like two legitimate Exodia cards. Keep in mind, this is an LOB Exodia, but it's damaged and it's not first edition. If this was first ed, even with the damage, it would be pretty valuable. Regardless, this is original LOB. This is not like the reprint LOB. This is original LOB uh, unlimited edition, which I just like I found that in my collection. I just found that really cool and interesting. So there's Exodia the Forbidden One, Dark Enhancer, which is a land attribute, and a Warrior Junta effect. <laughs> then I have the Sealed Right Hand, which is a left hand, the Sealed Left Leg, which is a right hand, the Sealed Right Leg, which is a left leg, and the Sealed Left Hand, which is a right leg. And some of them are using the original version of the artwork with the pentagram from the OCG. And some of them are using the Spellbinding Circle version from the TCG. So none of them can make up their minds. Then I have Magic Dragon with Wings, which is a god attribute. Uh, then just uh, some, like, uh, the hamburger recipe and Hungry Hamburger, I'm pretty sure are legitimate. Those are just from when I was a kid. Like, this is my, my this is mostly my nostalgia binder, honestly. Smashing Ground, Horn of the Unicorn, this fake pot of greed is really cool. Red Eyes Bee Chick, Time Wizard. Then some more Egyptian God cards. Then Extreme Jade God, Rainbow Dragon. Then Shinato's Ark, and look at Black Cow's Magician. So here's what's interesting. I think this is actually legitimate, this card. I'm not 100% on this because it does have a... No, the seal doesn't have any holograph. Does it? No, there is a hologram on the seal. I don't think my camera will pick it up. I think this might be legitimate. I doubt it's worth anything anyways. And then I have some, like, look at this Blue Eyes card. Blue Eyes White Dragon 3 Connector. So this is not Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This is the connector from the Duelist Kingdom arc for when Seto Kaiba, like, fake summoned Ultimate Dragon. Oh, so these two cards are also very interesting. These are the Mattel Toys uh, Cyber Dragon and Water Dragon. So it's not the regular printing. Um, I actually got the, those toys as a kid. I still have the Water Dragon one. I don't have the Cyber End one anymore. Then I think the rest of these are more just nostalgic cards. I pulled these two as a kid. Like, th these are very valuable, actually. Like These are easily over $100 each, I'm pretty sure. And I think the rest of these are just nostalgia, but none of them are really fakes. 
Oh, so, like, these are, like, replicas of some of the anime cards. This one, someone just gave to me at Locals. Like, he was going to throw it out because he realized it's fake. Because apparently this is fake. I'm like, I collect fake cards. Don't throw it out. I'll take it. I love fake cards. As you can clearly see. <laughs> and uh, he just gave it to me. This is my collection of sleeves. And, uh, yeah. Do I have anything else? Oh, this one's cool. Okay. This is a golden blue eyes white dragon. I have no idea what this is, but this is so cool. And then also, uh, is this what I think it is? Is this the card I traded for? I think so. I don't even know. Yeah, so just really a nostalgia binder. And then this was like a sign from like a VTuber. Anything else interesting here? I think all these are real cards. Okay, I'll show some of the fakes in my little tin over here. So I'm not going to show the whole tin. I'll show some of my interesting ones. So like Electric Ender Misprint. Buster Blader. Gate Safeguard. Elemental Hero Ocean Newborn Swordsman. <laughs> Dragon Sky. Endless dragon with blue eyes. And another endless dragon of blue, with blue eyes. Gate Guardian. Carousoli Fighter. Call from Monster. Yellow Luster Shields. Landstar Sword Fighter. King of Monster. Primitive God Sarago War Envoy. I just love these stupid fakes. So, I'll probably do another video at some point opening up some of these other ones. I just wanted to open up one of them today, I guess. I thought it wouldn't have taken as long as it did, 25 minutes, just to open up one of them. So, I'm planning on opening four of them at some point, and yeah... I'll upload those another time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this is definitely a very unique video. I'm sorry if the camera quality was not that good. Also, um, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, favor, and subscribe, and I'll be posting three more of these. Have a good one.